Nathaniel's with us in Louisville, Kentucky. Hi, Nathaniel. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for taking my call, Ramsey. Sure. How can we help? Hey, um, I just uh, finished to pay off my house, and I need some financial advice on what else to do with the money um, after you max out your 401k and your Roth or the wife and me. What other investments are, are good to keep doing so you can, you know, keep building your your portfolio? Way to go, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Baby step seven, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I never did any of the step. I just use biblical principles to, to grow okay. money. I'll take but that. I did hear from your show a lot. Yeah. Good. Well, thanks. Good. So, uh, but anyway, you're, you're 100% debt free, right? Yes. yes. Good. Good. Okay. Well, what uh, what I have done and what we've recommended in those situations is do what you've done, and that's max out all available anything to keep the government's hands off the money in any kind of a retirement plan, 401ks, as you said, Roth IRAs, as you said. If you've got any self-employment income of any kind, you can look at a self-employed pension plan, but even then that maxes out pretty quick. Um, and then what I personally have done is two things. You can do whatever you want, but this is what I have done and what we've recommended. I have invested in mutual funds. Now, at this point, you want to invest in mutual funds that have what's called a low turnover ratio. And their turnover okay. ratio is how often they sell the stocks inside the mutual funds. If it has a, a 4% turnover ratio, that means 96% of the portfolio does not sell every year. That's pretty cool. So if it doesn't sell, then as it increases in value, there's no taxes on it until you do sell it. So just like if you buy oh. a single share of stock and it goes up in value, you do not pay taxes on it until you sell it. The other thing I do is I buy real estate that I pay cash for. So my first goal when I did when I hit where you are years ago is I just start dumping money in a low turnover mutual fund. You can do that like an S&P 500 fund, no load if you want. That's what I did and just dump money in there. And when it got enough, when I got enough money in that account to buy a piece of real estate, I'd buy a piece of real estate. Then I'd dump money in there until I got enough money in there to buy a piece of another piece of real estate, and I would buy another piece of real estate. Because I love real estate, but you may or may not. That's the two things I've invested in. Oh, that's great. Great idea. I appreciate that. Hey, thank you, man. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate your call.